That's gonna destroy belief systems. Beings from above came down and made us to mine for gold. <laughs> it oh. took nine tries to make humans. So what other texts and tablets and what other things are they gonna uncover in these pyramids that haven't been touched? Probably within our lifetime, we're going to experience the flip. No. Yes. No. Yes. You know, there's a lot of evidence to say that it's coming. Hey, it's da, coming da, 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 da. <laughs> like, or maybe it's the lost city of Atlantis that they don't want anybody to find, you know, like with the pyramids and things like that. Because then, you know, what else it's going to do? That's gonna destroy belief systems because it's going to date the human population far dated back than in many of the different oh. religious scriptures. Oh. Not that the Sumerian texts didn't already do that. Yeah. Those all predate the Bible and the Quran and the Old Testament. They, 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 the Sumerian texts are way older. And the Sumerian texts are the precursors for a lot of the stories, you know, that are in the Bible or the different things. And, and so you already have that. And you have that kind of being covered up a little bit where people aren't talking about it because, oh, that means, you know, it says there, the Anunnaki created us. Like, uh, alien, or beings from above came down and made us to mine for gold. Oh, like, I mean, that just... <laughs> I mean, it's written in a fucking clay text, you know, like how much clearer can you be? It took nine tries to make humans. It, it even wrote all the mistakes. <laughs> it wrote that the, the last try before they got it right, humans were uh, infertile and uh, they, they could, or infertile or they, I mean, infertile or whatever. They couldn't have babies. And so they, then they had to make another one. And then interesting enough, they don't say that they just made an Adam and an Eve. They said that they made seven men and seven women. Makes more sense. Makes a lot more sense to the Gino and like, you know, <laughs> the diversity of humans, but like, those are very specific things. And so what other texts and tablets and what other things are they going to uncover in these pyramids that haven't been touched? Mm. Right? What type of fossils of beans are they going to find? Are they going to find some skeletons of, you know, some 30-foot Goliath the Giants down there? Because my theory is that Antarctica froze really fast. Yeah. He said that. Yeah. I think that it was a massive pole shift. Oh, when the poles, like, do the switch? Yeah. When the, the magnetic field goes every, like... Uh, roughly like 3,000 some years or whatever, uh, it goes boom, and it switches. The North Pole becomes the South Pole, South Pole becomes the North Pole, yeah. and it shuffles everything around, creates all this disruption, right? Mm -hmm. So. Possible? Yes. Which, Everything's possible. Everything's possible. And there's. It's well, 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 they, well they, found a, they, they found a little woolly mammoth, <laughs> a little baby guy. And he had vegetation in his stomach and he was he was frozen to death and he just ate lunch. He had grass in his stomach. Okay? Frozen to death, skin on all. Like, how did the guy, clearly he was walking and ate some grass and just got fat, flash frozen? Look it up. It's a cute little guy. He's like a little frozen woolly mammoth. He's a baby, but he got frozen and he had he had he had vegetation in his stomach. How'd that happen? <laughs> It had to happen like that. Oh well, yeah, that's like that's like all the natural disaster stuff happening now. It's just like stuff's happening, stuff happens. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the the ice well, we've not seen anybody get iced. No, but Pompeii got people frozen. I mean it's ash to death. <laughs> he showed me the pain and somebody's like like breastfeeding their baby and they're like they're, you know, petrified with the, the volcanic oh. ash. <laughs> I mean, things happen. We think that we're so immune. Like, this is, like, one thing you guys, I hope that you get that are watching is, like, stop taking it so seriously. Like, literally, mm. the poles could shift tomorrow and we could all be frozen. <sighs> well, you know, they said, true, they're, they're said that they're about, to, they're about to flip. How close? How close are we to the flip? Like, 
probably within our lifetime we're going to experience the flood. No. Yes. No. Yes. Ah. <sighs> But I'm going to have a long lifetime. <laughs> I'm well, working on a long life. <laughs> Get on top of a mountain range and meditate. <laughs> buy a bunch of hand warmers. Yeah. Fill the apartment up. You know, just get a little uh, helicopter and hovercraft for a little bit until the continents <laughs> and then go land. Oh, out. I'll just buy a ticket on Elon's uh, space shuttle. <laughs> what day is it leaving? <laughs> Come back, poles, everything's changed around. <laughs> we can go and live in Atlantis, Atlantis again because it'll be like the thought and it'll be like this we'll be beautiful like, tropical paradise with all these like art, uh, ancient ruins. And we'll be like, look at this cool city they built. Maybe he it, maybe he does know. He does know something, right? Because he is like planning on like going to space, hanging out, but there's nothing really in space and then coming back down. You know what I mean? Like, he's crazy. But, like, he could be onto something because he's changed the whole world. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's, you know, I don't know where things are going to go, but I mean, we needed, we'll research a little bit more on the pole <laughs> shift. That's going to be another episode. But it's happening. Things are happening. Things are changing. Mm. And it's, you know, there's a lot of evidence to say that it's coming. It's coming soon. <sighs> I guess it doesn't matter. It'll just be like that. Well, I mean, if you truly believe that our souls are eternal, then, you know, will we just come back again as another being? I know, but I got such a good start. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're ahead of the race. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if we just got frozen? Oh, God. I mean, I mean, I guess all those people in Pompeii didn't think so that the astro was going to freeze. I mean, like, they're going to suffocate to death. <laughs> Instantaneously, too. Oof. Has anybody ever hey, watched, look at the Pompeii, like, you know, I don't know, would you call them fossils of people that are just, like, mummy types? They're just bodies. We That's what we asked. We're like, where are the bodies? And they were like, oh, go this way. <laughs> Where's all the dead bodies? That's what we asked to find them. I know, but they're right in the middle. Like somebody's like making a clay pot and they're like in the middle of making the clay pot. And they just, they're gone. Like, that's not like you think. You're hearing an eruption and stuff like that. You run, you do something, you pull your baby off your breast. Like, I mean, like, <laughs> but this is like some What the do you do when an earthquake happens here? What do you do? Do you start packing up? <laughs> or are you like, oh, I hope nothing is happening. Yeah, but I, mean, I'm making I don't think ramen. I just, I, I, I don't think I'd just be making my pottery. I mean, like, the ash, I mean, you don't even set the baby down. Or you don't, like, take your hands off the pottery and just, like, freeze? I mean, like, ashify to death? I don't, I mean... I free. I do. I freeze. The last big earthquake, I was like, <gasps> and just stood there and waited for it to be over because I thought the building was going down. <laughs> and then, like, grabbed my dog and I was like, <gasps> <laughs> okay, so you're going to be one of the people that are going to be frozen in an interesting pose for the future civilization. Holding my dog. <laughs> They're like, oh, I love this one. Let me get a photo for my Instagram. <laughs> It'll be called something else at that time. Instagram will be gone. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button. The red one. You know the one. Just press it. Little like. All right. Enjoy the rest of this content. I feel like how MySpace disappeared. <laughs> I'll be like it's some new technology. <laughs> Making a photo of this one. At least you live on forever. Hey! You'll become Instagram Careful famous. Careful what you wish for. Instagram famous. See, that's why you have to be very specific about what you ask the universe for. Because she's got a sense of humor. Oh, yeah. You never know. Oh. 
Yeah, imagine if, like, I mean, we're sitting here wishing to go to Argatha, and we get down there, and it's, like, a Nazi-run, like, civilization <laughs> ran by, like, reptilian, like, aliens, and it's, like, we become their, like, slaves, and we're, like, we wanted to be down here! <laughs> and you're, like, I can't go back for my dog. <laughs> and they're, like, they, <laughs> I'm gonna eat you, fresh blood. I mean, you don't know. You know, mm-hmm. there could be a good and a bad and an ugly and a great, you know, to everything. Yep. yep. Um, but. They're like, that side's paradise. This side is not. We don't go to that side. <laughs> <laughs> They'll learn. <laughs> it's like you should have entered in. Uh, through you know, Quebec. like you go to the ghetto instead of like, the nice neighborhood. <laughs> yep. We should have went in through Tibet. We tried to go in through Antarctica. That was, you know. We went through Minnesota. <laughs> Michigan or whatever you We're, said. Yeah. <laughs> we, ended, we ended up in the bad one. <laughs> That's why nobody was guarding this cave. <laughs> the regime of President Trump. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So anything else you want to add on this? I think we went down the rabbit hole a lot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just keep your mind open. You don't have to like yeah. believe everything, but just be open to the fact that things could be different than you think they are. Yeah, they, I mean, you never know. I mean, you don't even know whether this is real. We're just feeling this is real, but mm. there's more space here than matter. What's tri- tripped me out? I think I might have told you this before. Like, but the in quantum physics, they've measured the mass of humanity. So all humans, mm, okay, so 7.6 million that are right now, because there's way more than 7.2 now. But if they took the mass of all humans, not one human, all humans, and took the actual physical mass, guess how much surface area that is? 10,000 square miles. I don't, ah! I don't know what I'm guessing. <laughs> the whole humanity's... Physical mass would fit into a sugar cube. <gasps> oh, that's what I was going to say about the hollow earth. Is It looks kind of like when they show the pictures of like the middle, Is it looks like your eye. Oh, yeah, going in. So we could just be, it could just, our planet could be an eye. I mean, our cells could be our whole like world. I mean, you got the mitochondria, could be our sun. And then you have all these other little cells floating around. Got a sugar cube though? That's crazy. So, because everything's space, right? Are you the one that told me that? Who told me that? That Everything is space, so sugar cube. I mean, think about it. Like what? (laughs) This doesn't exist. I mean, that's why I think like those really amazing people that have trained themselves really good with martial arts, they go through those big things. Boom! You ask them how they do it. They say they, they see their hand going through. They don't see the objects actually there. Do you know that's part of the training? Mm. See your hand going through. And in that moment, there is no mass there because it actually doesn't exist. And their hand is fine. And they go through bricks. They go through logs. They go through, you know, 12 two by fours. I mean, check out some of those videos. Like, I've definitely watched those videos. And they say, nope, nothing there. <laughs> something there. And it's a discipline of the mind, believing mm. that there's nothing there and they can literally part the space, which goes into, you know, like um, the slit, the uh, the slit um, experiment. You've heard of the slit experiment, right? So the slit experiment is one of the most famous quantum physics experiments. And it's the eye of the observer and how the particles actually change. And so when they're measuring the subatomic particles and they're firing them through an atomic gun and it's going through, um, there's a split. So there's two holes, right? There's, so the hole where my finger is hole here. And you would think when they go and they hit the backdrop that where they would land would be through the slits, okay? Mm-hmm. So if there's two little slits and they hit the back surface, it's gonna form a line in the two slits, right? Well, interesting enough, when they watch, that's what happens. When they don't watch, It goes everywhere. And 
it baffles, and that's the eye of the observer. So check out the the slit experiment, quantum physics split uh, 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 split. Ex- <laughs> Split, ex- ex- split, ex- split, experiment. split experiment. There you go. Thank you for helping me. Uh, but check that out because that's like the famous famous experiment. And so by the by just watching, the particles don't make two so- uh, two lines where the the space is on the backdrop. They actually form this like wave type of um, they where they hit all over, and it makes absolutely no sense. And it proves that quantum physics that every Every particle is in every location at every time. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.